Hello there, it's May 31st and we're in the Cravo, Cravo Global Demonstration and Innovation Center in Irapuato, Mexico. And in this house we are actually doing a wide variety of strawberry trials for both winter and summer planting cycles. But right now we're doing something that's really unique in the world. We are trialing many different roof coverings to, man, to in order to try to optimize the balance between light levels, cooling, both during the summer and trying to create optimum conditions during the winter. So this roof above me was just replaced yesterday and this is a RCO2 clear uncoated roof covering and behind it is RCO2 clear but with the Iris Second Sky cooling additive that's been added into the tapes and that is what's giving this the blue kind of tinge that you see. So what I want to do is actually show you how the temperatures are changing from the clear roof under the iris roof. So it is around 1 o'clock in the afternoon today on May 31st. Outside air temperature is around 41 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity is less than 15 percent. It actually, uh, the sensor no longer read it because it was so low. Inside here we currently have 39 degree air temperatures and the relative humidity is now 36 percent and the reason the relative humidity is higher is if you can see right above me the VFRA high pressure fogging system is now pulsing on for about 40 seconds on with a 30 second off time and that's helping to give us the humidification we need to get up to the 36 to 40 percent humidity. So now what I want to do is just show you the changes in leaf temperature and light levels under the RCO2 clear as compared to the RCO2 clear with the iris additive. So right now looking at the leaf temperature we have a leaf temperature of about 34 degrees and the light level is around 85 lux 80 to 85 lux and as we go under the iris roof we can see that the transitions right here so we're now standing underneath the iris roof and the leaf temperature was 34 and now the leaf temperature is around 32 to 33 degrees so the leaf temperature is fairly similar but the light levels dropped from 85 to 80 to 85 to around 70 around 70 lux. Now we've noticed about a one degree difference in air temperature. It is slightly cooler under the iris additive. But here's the most interesting observation. If we look at the ground cover under the iris, it is 45 Celsius. As we go under, you can see that the change in the light level is occurring right here. So now we're under the clear roof. Ground cover temperature is now 60 Celsius. So we can see for sure that there's a lot more heat coming through the roof when you don't have the iris additive. So the iris additive will be very positive during the summer conditions. Could have a negative effect in the winter depending on how often we need to leave the roof closed. From here we're going to go into a different house where we're doing another trial on the roof covering test. We're now in house three, and in this house we have two different roof coverings. So we have the RCO2 white uncoated, and behind it again is the RCO2 clear with the Iris Second Sky additive. And so when we look at the leaf temperature here, we can see that the leaf temperature is 31 degrees as compared to 33, 34 under the transparent or the iris and the light levels now are down to about 33 about 33 lux under the white uncoated when we move this way again we can see the change on the ground in terms of the light levels 
as we transition, we can see that the transition is right here between the white uncoated versus the clear with the iris additive. And leaf temperatures again now are in the 32 degrees. So the leaf temperature isn't uh, changing significantly from one to the other, which means basically the roof covering is intercepting a lot of the radiation and the, the transpiration of the plants is just helping to keep the leaf temperature co co uh, cool. When we go to the black ground cover, we're at 56 under the iris. and 43 under the white uncoated. So when you are trying to, oh, and then looking at light levels again, we are at the 64, 60, 64 lux. So what this is really telling us is when we look at what crop we're trying to grow, where we're trying to grow it, and what our target harvest season is, we may get better results using a clear uncoated roof a clear with the iris additive or white because we know that the white's going to give us the maximum cooling through the heat but could give us too much of a reduction in light during the winter the clear will give us maximum light during the winter but will result in slightly higher temperatures in the summer i think one of the key factors is what is the relative humidity outside when you're dealing in these hot conditions because when we are in the 10 to 15 percent humidity a high pressure fog system can work very efficiently in terms of creating the evaporative cooling to prevent the air temperature from spiking like in a, a regular poly conventional greenhouse but also giving us the boost in humidity we need in order to regulate the transpiration so right now because these roofs are only been up for a couple days this week all we can do really is try to understand the impact on the climate but over the next months, we'll be able to evaluate how those crops are responding over a long, longer period of time from the characteristics of the different roof coverings.